on Smash. Oh, I don't think this winner's final. This loses quarters finals. Loses the quarters. Yeah, yeah. All right, we're gonna go to Battlefield here. I really like this stage for both teams, con considering yeah. that I, that I, they will have the platforms to yeah. start a jungle. Chain. I was talking to Napster and Nin, or yeah, Napster and Nin earlier, and I'm sure I'm pretty sure in their head they're like, "Oh, sweet, these guys let us take them to Battlefield." <laughs> Guarantee that's what they're thinking right now. Yeah, but um, I've seen a lot of instances of Crustle and Peabody using the platforms to get earlier kills. Like, for example, um, Crustle will do back throw, and Peabody will be just charging up smash one of the platforms, and it'll just it'll just shoot him straight up. Yeah. So there's a lot of creativity in that. But right now, I'm just seeing a lot of stage control coming from mm -hmm. Blue Team. Yeah, Napster and Nin, that's what their team is actually really excels in. Is in it, it's like if you get them in the air, the traps are ridiculous. Like the air dodge traps and etc. It's super hard to get away unless you have more airspeed than Rosalina and Luke. Yeah, I think it's not quite as easy to ping pong like Rosalina, even though she's big. She's not mm -hmm. like super. She's not super. She's not a fast one. She's not like Falcon or something. Like, yeah, a heavy. But one thing you do have to keep in mind is that Crustle and Peabody are very adept at team combos. So and and I guarantee I guarantee you I can tell you this for sure that they freaking practice every single weight possible. Oh, Ooh, and unfortunately, Nap Napster misses his up beat. Yeah. Yeah, no, I've I've seen a lot of the te uh, the team combos they do, and some of it is really nasty. Just using yeah. not only the the character tools and like I said, the, like the the stages to their advantage. Yeah. yeah, and that's what I really like about uh, Crustle and. Uh, Peabody's play is that they're really kind of good at controlling the ground and if you're in the air they keep you in the air for a very long time But looks like they're really having trouble with uh, these two Rosalinas. Yeah Something I think it's really interesting considering it's, it's Mario and uh, And Fox with a really fast back air. You understand like well, I like to call it sandwich theory It's just keeping either keeping center stage, <laughs> Either keeping center stage or keeping them boxed in and uh, being able to cover like rolls or any like panic options. Oh, yeah, and that and Dude, if you if you ever seen Crustle Peabody play, and you know that's how they play, but Napster and Nin don't care about those sandwich theories. <laughs> that gave him the mustard with that down air, yeah. straight down. Yeah. I mean, oh, well, look at all these stairs. It's excellent, as excellent edge guarding and just you know utilizing, just utilizing their character knowledge, and being able to edge guard. Napster's just going in right now. I was yeah. actually talking Nin to was uh, going in too. He's custom. Oh yeah, yeah. But something really interesting was that uh, I was talking to Nin earlier. Is that he he likes to throw um, throw opponents off and I guess isolate each of the individual team members and the opponent of the opponents and then have Napster doing that because Napster goes really ham on edge guards and then you know Nin's the one doing stage control. That's just like how player dynamics works. Nin's usually the person who plays pretty collective, and then Napster is the one who just goes extremely ham on stage. I mean, despite even though Luffy having the, the, the slight lead, I, I think I think you know Crystal Peabody have, have a good shot at this. You know, they're keeping the pressure up; they're not getting faced by it. Yeah. Uh, early on, they were having a lot of trouble. It looks like they kind of stepped it up, but it's a little bit, a little bit late. One, uh, two stocks to four right now. I thought it was something that's actually really, really interesting. If you're fighting double Rosa, you're technically fighting two, four characters with two. Yeah. Oh. You have to deal with Puma. Oh no! Is he gonna make no, it back? He's, he's, oh wow! No, Cross is not gonna make it back and either. Double, double SD? How many dare kills have they got? That was four. I've counted four. One dare killed on the stage and sent Fox flying at 155. See, see I'm, I, I, then you have the. Is it a, is it a Rosa dare or a Luma dare? Because I saw it, a lot oh, of Luma dares kill. It was definitely Luma dare. I, I saw them use Rosa dare too. Yeah. <laughs> so so if it hits like sideways, that's the that's Luma, and then it hits down. Well, there's like different hitboxes for Rosa's down, but usually if it if they hit sideways, you know it's Luma. Yeah. You know it's Luma. Yeah, I saw earlier when they were playing a DSS and Shaky. Oh my goodness. Napster just four throw into Dare, and it sent, sent him at a semi spike semi spike angle. It was nasty. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh. Hey, are they? Uh, oh. Okay. Playing it, playing against Peabody and Crystal, I'm unsure about how this team works, but it could be better than Mario and Fox against Rosalina's, right? I mean, now now they have disjoints, and yeah, I think they'll exactly. have an even easier time juggling because yeah. it'll, it'll probably be even easier to deal with Luma, which I. Actually, felt like it was a big problem because that's how uh, Boosting got most of their kills in Edgeworks. Oh yeah, they're already doing way better abusing those disjoints, man. And you kind of have to against Rosalina, right? Yeah, going back to another well, I not say a tripod in stage, but this time instead of ba battlefield with a lower, a higher ceiling, you're going to town silly, town, <laughs> town and silly, yes, yes. town and silly. It with definitely a, is very ridiculous <laughs> this stage. I mean. 
when you're gonna when you have to deal with doubles, rage, and then Luma, mm -hmm. like I wouldn't be surprised if they did something like a ladder. Right. Like, you Ooh. Know. Oh, okay. A little bit of miscommunication right there from Crystal and Peabody. Uh, I, you know what? I don't. Oh, okay. Peabody is the cloud. Oh no! That combo was so sick. Dare to bear. Hello. That was nasty. Yeah, Cross was trying to free juggle Napster right there, but Napster was able to get oh, back up what? on stage. Okay, that was that was tragic. <laughs> okay, Cross was getting grabbed. Nice breakup from Nin right there. And that's like the one thing about the Rosa teams is that they, it's easy for them to break up because their dash attack is kind of like invincible. And then plus with Luma, of course, it's going to make it that much easier. Oh, what was that angle? Did you see that? Yes. <laughs> I'm honestly not sure how to process this. <laughs> There's just so much stage. going on. All right. Oh, nice ping pong. Oh, here right comes here. the ping pong. Mm -hmm. Yeah, There's unfortunately, they're not going to get anything dude. off a of finishing touch. Yeah, sandwich theory, man. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, Crustle actually got hit into it, but, yeah. you know, we'll take it. Yeah, Peabody, Peabody doing a good job keeping a Napster isolated and away from him, helping his teammates. And you can see that with the disjoints, they able to deal the damage and not have to worry uh -huh. about, like, Luma as much. Yeah. And <laughs> Napster going in ham again for another edge guard. Yeah, and you, and you know he wants to go for it. But it's hard. It's oh Luma. Luma just extended the hitbox I yeah. think. You thought you thought you air dodged and then Luma Luma says otherwise. Yeah. Luma 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 is is like what what do you call a double edged sword. He's like sure I'll no, save you, but then I'll kill like you. She's like not even close to a double edged sword. She's like the sharp part of the blade right before like the dull part, you know, like the at the end. Yeah, no fair. Just <laughs> ju the just the tip. Yeah, yeah. It's just like yeah. That's that's the only dangerous part. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. See if they have Whoa! Luma it would have died, and unfortunately Peabody falls. R no, Crustle fi falls right into a yeah. team kill, and stocks are just they're kinda, even. They're just kind of flying away. Mm -hmm. Nice. Look at all the patience that both Crustle and Peabody have when it comes to follow-ups. They like waiting for that reaction, and if they don't get a reaction, they'll just go straight for that hit. I kind of noticed that now, now, now I'm seeing red team taking center stage and they're trying to initiate their team combos because, you know, while, while like I said, it's harder to ping pong, uh, Rosa, Rosa's uh, recovery is a little slower and a little more linear, so it's going to take time. Yeah. Nice full limit right now on uh, Peabody. Missed a conversion right there. Uh, Crustle tried to back throw, but didn't get a cross slash or yeah. a finishing touch. And, and it is a little bit difficult when uh, playing with Cord. Oh, unfortunate. Got hit straight, hit perfect angle, and got an up air. Nice pin, kick off the stage. Straight in the chest. <laughs> yeah, good stuff for Crystal and Peabody. Yeah, I mean, I, you know, you, we, they made the right call making the switch, you know, yeah. having the disjoints. And I think having more penetrating, like, yeah. options. Because sure. I felt like a lot of... Uh, <laughs> well, think about it. The way the way that Mario Fox, I feel, works is based on a lot of juggles and, like, smaller yeah. pokes. But, like, for, like, raw kill power, I think they have to make a harder read. But then, like, the, the sheer power and knockback of the disjoints and the weapons mm -hmm. that the that Team GOE has, I think that's going to give them, like... It's it's going to... Yeah. It's making it a lot easier for them well, to Well, okay, get a so, kill. so here's the thing with Corrin is that she's really good at doing combos by herself. But when it comes to like fo uh, to like combo with someone, it's a little bit more difficult because most of her moves like send at an upward angle. But when you're cloud and you can jump like a million miles high and you have a sick nair, you have a sick up air, a sick back air, those combos are gonna come free. They're gonna come easy. Yeah, I mean that. that I think that's what Cloud specializes in. Yeah, in, definitely. Insane juggles and vertical kill power, and, and then and you're corn with great vertical setups. So you know, put two and two together, and you get. Yeah. Good ground control, also. Yeah, basically. And that's kind of what you. Kinda oh yeah, yeah. He's, uh, I think that's a really good point to make too with dra dragon pin. Yeah, and it's not even that. It's just cloud too. Like if cloud empty hops, or if cloud short hops, and you're like, well. Well, yeah. What there's I do. a you well, know the excellent, the excellent bear. I was just thinking about dragon pin lance is like, the dragon lance is a way to get rid of like Luma or just yeah. keep them in shield that's so that true. cloud can die. just kind of just run around and do his yeah. shenanigans. We're going to game three right here. Yeah. Nice. What stage are they going to? I think they stayed. Oh, Ooh. FD. Final stage. Let's go. Okay, so it looks like we're not going to get any more uh, jun jungle sh shenanigans. It's yeah. going to be more, probably more pure neutral. And we, and we see right, right off the bat uh, some uh, bread and butter from Napster. Yeah. You know, I, I, also, I also like how I think it was Nitin who started the game using Star Bits just because there's nothing you can do against Star Bits. Like, you can't even run away from it. You, you can't even reflect it. You have to shield. Yeah. There's no no other option. Oh, oh no, the SD. 
dare as the unfortunate. I think he was trying to go for some kind of edge guard. Yeah, or maybe a, a footstool after the dare, but he didn't. That's a thing. Popped out. Yeah, it's true. <gasps> and as uh, I say, that a stock is gone. Uh, yeah, that's the power of cloud and doubles. And when you have Corrin and her really like her forward and back throw are, uh, go at a pretty good angle. Yeah, like I was saying, they're, they're really good setups for what, what Cloud's insane kill power. Uh huh. Nice down smash. All right, here we go. Oh, no. failure at the ping pong, unfortunately. And yeah. We're back on stage, but I feel oh. wow. Great awareness there by Pewan. Brutal. Yeah, you, you hate to see your stocks fly by that quick. Cloud's still at 100%. Now with limit. Yeah, and he's got a little rage and still has yeah. a stock, so I think he can afford to play the waiting game even though he has the total to aggressively take off the stock. Oh, nice! Did you see yeah, that? Yeah, I know, that was jump? really great! That Welcome was... into the ledge regram. I think Nin was expecting the immediate up B. Yeah, 200 and, oh, IQ, see Luma that? saving. Luma saving Peabody right Not there. Not just that, he reversed the hitbox of mm -hmm. Climb Hazard, so we'd hit no. Luma. Another SD from Crustle, man. It wasn't an SD, it was a nice dare. Oh, from, really? Yeah, from Nin. <laughs> Tipper! Okay, Wait. I don't know if you guys know, but four throw can tipper and it can kill. It's actually That's ridiculous. That's so weird. It's ridiculous. I like it though. I like I like his sense of th you know sense of awareness. Oh no, but <laughs> it's just it's so scary, dude. Yeah, Luma, Luma saving Luma saving Napster there from a from a team juggle. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, accidental oh. team grab. Yeah, I don't know if you want to do four throw. I don't know what uh, Rose's quickest throw is and. I don't know if that Dude, was, that was just combo. that was just a clean uh, dared it dared up He he double jumped into it, so I think it okay. might have been true, or there's just not much he could do about yeah. it. Good dash attack, right there, breaking up all that nonsense. Yeah, I mean earlier you saw most of the dominance was uh, blue team. Most of D blue team's dominance was oh, them no! getting getting. What that di? The di. Jeez Louise. Anyways, I was saying. Blue team's advantage was getting red team off stage. Oh, now red wow. team is getting the kills earlier and earlier and isolating them. And yeah. Like you saw, you know, stocks are just yeah. flying away. And it looks like Nitin and Napster are having a little bit of miscommunication or just like trouble landing in general because they seem to be hitting each other every time they're going onto the ground. Fair kills? No. Not like this. The dream's dead. Then I believe in Nitin. It's Rosalina and... Oh, okay. I don't. It's, it's still 2v2, right? It's still 2v2? This three sucks, this is one. <laughs> it's still a 2v2. <gasps> oh! You're fair enough. Pretty good edge guard there by Nin, though. It's not even Ooh, and then amazing. he goes for yeah. the, the classic, you know, falling bear at the ledge. Yep, there's Takes nothing. Takes out the stock. There's nothing uh, Nin could have done there. Really good just to go off stage and hit with that back air. And I think that's it. Yeah. Good stuff for Lucas quarters, so, yeah.